Dear friends in Christ, welcome to our daily reflection for the 18th of August and Friday of the 19th week in the ordinary time. Divorce remains a thorny issue today, just as it has been for ages. There are many marriages waiting in line at the tribunals around the city for divorce. There are also many orders contemplating the same now. This, however, is nothing compared to the number of happy marriages and surviving marriages everywhere. We need to learn how many are surviving in their marriages and use that knowledge to help those who are challenged and are sometimes unable to find a way through it. Our first reading is from the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verses 1 to 13, and shows God's loving concern for his people from one generation to another. It's a love beyond all telling in the way he has loved his people, protecting them with a mighty arm and providing them security beyond what human efforts could match. In the same way, God has provided them with all the necessary nourishments, including eating the fruits of the vineyard that they did not cultivate. God is the husband of Israel. This marriage of God and his bride, the people, is the model of the marriage of a man and his wife. The faithfulness displayed by God in his relationship with his people is what is expected in the love of man and his wife. The gospel passage is taken from Matthew chapter 19, verses 3 to 12, and presents a big challenge to marriage. Is it lawful to divorce one's wife for any cause? In answering this question of the Pharisee, Jesus took him on an excursion back to how it all began, right from the onset. God made them male and female and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one. Is it not a fantasy to talk of a situation where any marriage, which brings together people of two different backgrounds, will be without its challenges, a situation where they will be without problems? There are marriages with serious problems, we must admit. There are, however, people who are ready to pack it up for any little thing. There are some who are not sincere with their spouses. Some of the problems plaguing many marriages today were there before the oath was taken, but were swept underneath the carpet. What God has joined together, man must not divide. In a situation where people already have divorce on the table as one of the options they will resort to even before the marriage knot is tied leaves a lot more to be imagined rather than apportion blames let us pray for god's blessings on our marriages and pray for those who are going through the rough patches of their lives that they will find a common ground and have their joy renewed word for today open your bible to matthew chapter 19 verse 6 and it says what god has joined together man must not divide let us pray lord help our marriages pour the grace of your love into our hearts to see your purpose for our lives and pursue real love amen May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.